little grasshoppers, today we're going to talk about Yoel Armia, a guy that looks like Mario Lemieux once in every 15 games, but the other 14 games looks like uh, Armia. And considering this guy is set to become a UFA at the end of the season, let's have a good old game of deal or no deal here, huh? At the expense of Yoel Armia. But first, before we begin, if you guys are a fan of the Habs or just Mario Armia, please consider subscribing to my channel as I upload hockey content daily and would really enjoy picking up some more you hitchhikers along the ride. Now, back to Mario Armia or Marmia or just Joel or Yoel, whatever the hell you want to call him. The guy is finishing up the last year of his contract valued at 2.6 million beans per year. Not too shabby, huh? Not bad at all. So what kind of production did we get from Marmia over the last couple of years? Well, why not ask our good buddies at HockeyDB.com. Oh, and holy smokes! Yoel Armia actually had 16 goals last season. Won't you look at that? He definitely earned every penny of that contract last season. His first year with the Habs, he did have 13 goals and 10 assists, which wasn't really bad bang for buck, but this year he did regress a little, only potting 7 goals and adding 7 assists. Although, hey, give him a break. He did get his bell rung early in the season when that big half half draft, half ostrich manatee of a Canuck defenseman gave him a blindside hit. So maybe that brain is still rattling around a little bit in there like a jip ball. And who knows, maybe next season? <sighs> Everything comes back to normal and we see Mario Armia once every 15 games again. He's 27 years old right now, so he definitely does have some more kilometers left to offer in the old Mia engine. A little backstory here. The Sabres actually drafted this guy in the first round, way on back in 2011. Although if you can believe it, nothing really good happened for him in Buffalo. Well... Imagine that. But I guess, hey, there are quite a few players right now who fall into that same category. But Armia did play a whopping one game for the Sabres. Oh, <laughs> yeah. He played one game and they figured, you know what, Joe? We've seen enough of you already, man. Get your ass out of here, boy. So off he went to the Winnipeg Jets, where he did take some positive strides with that team. But just when he was getting comfy, he got plucked from the vegetable garden by good old farmer Fran Bergervan. <laughs> yeah, look at that guy. So tell me, would you do it? Huh? Would you do it? Would you re-sign Yoel Armia? I mean, we already went over this sort of thing with Phil Deneau and Thomas Tatar, as both of these guys also have their contracts expiring. Here's the scenario. What if both Tatar and Deneau walk away? They just spread their wings with another team. Would you try and drag Armia's ass back in here at that point? Or do you think Marco Polo Bergevin should just, you know, forget about him completely? Pfft, Joel Armia? Who the hell is that? I don't know any Armias. You know what? As for myself, I'm going to tell you what I like and what I don't like about Armia, okay? First, we'll go over the things that I like. Because, uh, let's begin on a positive note here. Huh? He's big. He can skate well. He's great at killing penalties. He's everything you want from a third liner, in my opinion. Let's face it. When you got a third liner that can potentially score 15 goals a season, that's a great compliment to any team. And what a strong stick handler. Holy shit. This guy can drive a car between your legs and make you look stupid. He just gets the puck on a string somehow and looks like a bloody magician. The puck seems to follow him. Wow, a lot of praise, eh? At this point, you're probably thinking, damn, let's lock this guy up for the next 10 years right now, junkie. Well, not so fast. Because my biggest issue with Armia is how inconsistent he is. I know, a lot of good wingers are streaky, but Armia just takes it to this whole new level, doesn't he? And this is just my opinion, but as I mentioned earlier, when he turns into Mario Armia... The guy is a beast. He's dangling that ass through all the traffic and putting up points. But when he falls from grace and goes back down to Yoel Armia, the guy is just, 
He's there, you know? It's like sitting down with your face in your pillow waiting for time to pass, but nothing has happened. If there was only a way, you know, every shift, if a coach, like myself, hire me, come on, can light a matchstick and just drop it in this guy's pants before every shift, just to light a little fire on that ass cheek of his, huh? Maybe he goes out there with that little spark up his ass and shows some more consistency. Who knows? But anyway, guys, that does it for this video, so let me know in the comment section what you think of our boy Yoel Armia. Is this a guy you would consider bringing back, or is this a guy you think the Habs should just stay the hell away from in the future? Oh yeah, now go drink some beer, have a good night, and I'll see you tomorrow.